I can imagine some people are listening, thinking, well, I would love to attract owls to my yard, but is that a good idea? Is it a, um, for the owls? Is it safe for the other birds in, in the area? What would you recommend? Should people put owl houses in their, in their yards or how do you figure out that kind of thing to do? I think it's a wonderful thing. As I, as I said, I put up an owl box in my own yard and, um, and the other thing that I've tried to do is to keep my yard as native, full of native plants as possible. And, you know, I don't mow my lawn, um, which means that it's good habitat for lots of things, including little rodents, probably. But when you have owls, that's what, you know, they take care of that, that problem. Um, they're, I, I think they're a wonderful bird to have around. And, you know, it's part they're not going to decimate the bird population. They they eat lots of little birds, but they eat lots of rodents, and um, and they're you know it's just part of the the uh, sort of natural chain of things um, to have these these birds um, birds of prey, you know, in a in a habitat. How would you? What's different about a bird box from an owl box, and how do you make one? Well, the owl box has a much bigger hole. Um, owls are, are really big birds, most of them. Although pygmy owls, elf owls, those are little tiny birds. They're mostly forest owls, so you're unlikely to get those around here. Some Maybe if you live in Arizona. Um, but, uh, but if you go online, you can find some really cool owl box designs. And in, in different places around the world, they're making nesting boxes out of all kinds of um, interesting materials. And is some yeah, the Australians, I think, are actually using 3D printing to mm. create owl boxes that uh, but it's very hard. These owl boxes, these nesting boxes, they're designed to um, uh, try to imitate the the hollows in trees that owls use for nesting in the in their natural state. And the nesting environment inside a hollow in a tree is a very different thing from the nesting environment inside a nesting box. So scientists are trying to figure out how to make these nesting boxes a little bit more like the actual hollows. And that's where the, the 3D printing came in. Oh, that's interesting. 